What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're going to be reacting to a quick clip or a quick interview that was put on by two radio hosts at a music festival where they interview a couple that is there. So the boyfriend, he's on the left side. He bought tickets for the girlfriend on the right side for her birthday. But as you'll see during this interview process, you'll see what her true intentions are. You'll see if she's really a fan of her boyfriend or if she's really a fan of having her shot at a celebrity or a rapper instead. With no further ado, let's check out this video. I'm gonna pause it in between to break certain things down and point out key body language phrases and tell you guys what I would do in this situation if I was this guy and how you as a man if you end up in a situation like this with a woman like this need to leave immediately remember guys when you're dealing with women she should be your biggest fan there should be no other fans outside of you and if a woman you're dealing with isn't your biggest fan and she's pedestalizing another man and putting him ahead of you I don't care if he's a celebrity or a higher status high value type of man it doesn't matter you need to scram you need to get out of there you need to not deal with that woman because too many men would rather stay in relationships like this where the woman doesn't respect them and disrespects them openly and actually is willing to cheat then have self-respect and walk away from that woman even if it means being alone for a short period of time because that's more important than having some woman at home that disrespects you just because she sleeps with you at the end of the night so no further ado let's check it out um bootleg cap dj head of camp vlog now we at dodger stadium we're here with the lovely couple what's your guys' names angel alexia alexia is there anybody who's on tonight's lineup who you would cheat on your boyfriend with um. oh shit. Just that pause alone, instead of her giving a direct, no, I would not cheat on my boyfriend, if there's any hesitation at all, she doesn't have to say anything. She belongs to the streets. I guess. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. How long y'all been together? Two and a half years. Two and a half years. You notice how she didn't even notice how long they've been together, but he was quick to say two and a half years. Clearly, you can see who cares more about this relationship. Three years. Yeah. Uh, so the answer should be nobody, but who do you, I mean, you got somebody? Who is it? The baby. Are you kidding me? The baby? Baby. You know what's crazy? What? I had a feeling she was gonna say that. Hey, and we're we're gonna listen right now. We're gonna take you backstage. So I got some VIP. See how her eyes lit up. See how excited she was? See how her boyfriend has his arm around her? You gotta pay attention to body language here. Who is fighting for whose time, attention, and love? It's the man, unfortunately. He has a beta male, nice guy smile. He's wearing a cross, unfortunately. A lot of you guys know my story coming up in the church. You are raised to be a simp. You are raised to be a nice guy. You are raised to deal with women like this because God forgives them. But it took life experiences and me learning female nature to understand that just because a woman's clapping your hands on Sunday doesn't mean she was not clapping her cheeks on Saturday. We're gonna, so, we're gonna, here's, the, here's the question. We're going to take you backstage to meet the baby, but he can't come. He can't go. Another hesitation. I mean, how does you VIP? Know. It's VIP. So I watched it. It doesn't matter if it's VIP, it doesn't matter if it's MLB, it doesn't matter if it's XYZ. You don't go backstage and cheat on your boyfriend. Point blank, period. It's VIP. It's VIP. So I watched it. We got I bought these tickets for your birthday. What a damn shame. What's crazy is the rapper she wants to see backstage, the baby, is probably her favorite celebrity in general. And he bought tickets for her because she probably complained and whined and moaned about having tickets to go see the baby, while this whole time she's plotting on potentially sleeping with him when she has the opportunity to. And this man took some of his paycheck, I'm assuming some hours off of work, planned the trip, planned this part of her birthday out. This doesn't include the dinner and the necklaces and the gifts that he has to give her because he seems like that type of guy. And guess what? At the end of the night, who does she still want? to sleep with a man that has to do nothing but show up on stage and perform because he is in her eyes higher value and higher status you hate to see hypergamy in action boys we gotta we gotta go come on are you willing to go right now she'll be back in like 30 no, minutes really? are you willing yeah, to go right, right now. now to meet the baby Shit, 40 okay i don't know like all right let's take her to meet the baby all right let's, let's, let's go wow It doesn't matter if it's the baby, Donald Trump, Jesus Christ, Allah, whatever God you believe in. I don't give a damn who it is. That man can walk on water. If you are with me, you are with me. You're rocking with me. So you better respect me as a man enough to not disrespect me and leave me for another man. And if you do that, well, guess what? I won't be waiting for you when you get back. And that's the mindset I need all of you guys to have. You can't tolerate disrespect like this or it'll continue to happen. You'll see how this plays out though. You gotta come right now. Dude, if I gotta go right now, then I wanna go right now. Let her go, bro. It's your dog, bro. I'm 
I'm not taking you back home. Dude. It's not. It's, over. it's not a big deal. We gotta go right now. It's not a big deal that I just said I would cheat on the baby. And now I have access to go backstage, VIP section, and most likely. I eat my oranges like I eat this. Or do some other stuff to him. It's not a big deal, though. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Well, you know, I just said I was going to cheat on you, but it's not a big deal at the end of the day. You're overreacting. Have you heard those words before? How many times have we heard those words from women, huh? Now, it's not all women, but I'm saying this happens far too often. And this is why I make content the way I do, because a lot of you guys need to grab your nuts and walk away from situations like this. Walk away from women that disrespect you like this and treat you like this. She does not love this man. She does not care about him. She is disrespecting him. She's going to do what she's going to do. She's already made her decision. So don't try to talk her out of it. It's like poker. She just showed you her card. So you already know where she's coming from. So just walk away and take that L, but learn from this experience and move on. Don't be bitter about it but learn from it. She just pops up like that. Quick. Now, I'll be honest right here. Bro should have just walked away. Bro should have just left. But instead, he didn't stick to what he said. Now he's chasing after her. Now she's still in power. Now she's still in control. Because she realizes, I can go do whatever I'm going to do backstage. And this beta male, my boyfriend, is going to still chase me and still try to be with me no matter what I do. Because he has a scarcity mindset. And he's going to continue to tolerate disrespect because I'm physically attractive. And I can do that. She belongs to the streets. Prank or no prank, this woman just showed her true colors. And I'm glad that they called her out and said she was a worthless girlfriend. <laughs> Guarantee you this guy stays with her at the end of all of this. Guarantee you, he didn't learn a thing. That's why I'm putting out this video though. Because we need guys to understand, listen, I don't care if it's a prank or it's not a prank. If you show your true colors and that you're a fan of other men besides me, then go be a fan of those other men and I'm going to go somewhere else. I'm not going to tolerate disrespect. I can almost guarantee this woman back at home, she's dealing with another man on the side. She's cheating on her boyfriend already. Just because of her hesitation and how quickly she popped up and wanted to go over to VIP section and just disrespected her boyfriend like that, that tells me she's already been doing this and she's accustomed to disrespecting him and cheating on him. So I just want to play this clip for you guys and let you guys know that you need to walk away from women like this. But that's going to be all for today's video. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notifications if you want to see this channel grow. We continue to reach out to more young men that get this knowledge, get this wisdom and insight so we can protect other young men from falling into the same traps. Let me know what you think about the situation in the comment section below. See you guys next time.